Not long ago, this sleepy kingdom stood upon the brink of destruction. But three unlikely heroes rose up to the task and defeated evil. They were guided by a mysterious device, the Artifact of Souls. They knew it as the Trine, and tonight it was calling them once again. My name is Michael, I'm from Frozen Bite Studios from Helsinki, Finland, and uh, we're here with Trine 2. These guys are playing up there, doing a good job. It's a sequel, Trine, we have so many pronunciations of it, I don't know what we're trying to do. We got puns, you know, um, it's, 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 it's an alright game, I think. Visually, uh, we got a lot of physics in it. It's pretty much the same characters as in the first one, but you know they've evolved a little bit. Their their new adventure. They got their new skills. You know they got new animations. The new everything's new. The enemies are new. There's no more skeletons. And uh, for the first one, we just got drunk and wrote the story like the last week. Um, we got drunk on sugar, little kids, not alcohol, because we don't do that. And um, we just wrote the story, we thought it was funny, we had some influences, like a lot of us like Monty Python and stuff, you know, all these cool English things and Finnish things and all that history or fantasy like Lord of the Rings. We just took all the stuff and put it into one and made a nice funny story and uh, that's it. But now we have actual writer and it should be consistent and there's, you know, it's, it's the quality should be higher for the, for the story. Basically, they just uh, in, the, in the end of the first one, um, not gonna spoil too much, but they you know they save the world and go back home, and then it's kind of relaxing at home, and then uh, the second one starts, and they're like you know oh poop, uh, you know we have to go on this uh, journey again, and uh, it's a different threat, it's different people, there's new characters with the story, so the three main playable characters, but other people will kind of mingle in and make the story happen. Online and offline co-op, it's drop-in, drop-out, so you can just join your friend uh, if you're playing in the same room. Uh, if you join an online uh, game, then you can always just leave with playing start, uh, press, press and start. So it's easy to go grab something to eat and just be like, right, I'll be right back and you know, it's as easy as possible, drop-in, drop-out, you know. But the online is there, it's really awesome, and uh, we're really waiting for that. Yeah, well, the, what do we have to change? We had to change everything. Basically, it's an in-house engine that we make the, all our games with. But for the second one, we had to write everything. The whole engine was have to be remade. So, you know, when we're making a new engine, we figured we might as well put, you know, new lights and new shadows and some cool effects and new physics. So when you do a new engine, we just rewrote everything and just kind of one up to everything too. The environment. Well, you're going to see a lot of stuff that you haven't seen before. Uh, if you look at the trailer, the new Gamescom trailer just put out, um, you can see some sneak previews of what kind of levels you can see. So a lot of uh, variety within the levels also. It's, it's something that we've been doing for a long time. We're really proud of it. Uh, when we made the first game, we, we got some feedback and we knew that it wasn't a perfect game. So with this game, we really just wanted to improve on that and just make the best possible game ever. And the release date, we can't give you a release date now, but we will polish it up, and when it's ready, we'll release it, and it's going to be soon. So you get just put the pipes. This is a, one of the wind puzzles, and you have to like assemble a little pipe contraption so you can get up here. Apparently, it takes a while. Actually, we have Ari Polkin and playing. Uh, Ari, can you come over here, man? This is the guy who made the soundtracks. If you like the music in Trine, this guy has made all the soundtracks. He's composed 16 new songs for the new soundtrack, and uh, he's doing a good job with the with trying two sounds. Hey guys. Um, so if you like the music, the soundtrack will be in the premium edition, and uh, you can also buy it on. Yeah, you can buy it from iTunes and everywhere. You know, I think there's gonna be a physical CD from it, and the music is a really important thing of the game. Yeah. Every uh, level has a unique theme, and we have one hour. Oh, one hour music there, and you know, uh, 
fans who love Shrine 1 soundtrack will definitely love Shrine 2. So it's not just the visuals, not just the physics and the good gameplay. We also have music and, you know, he made the Angry Birds soundtrack, uh, the one song that they have there. But this is, this is much better, but that's what he rides on these days. Thank you.